learning outcomes for the module of removal of urinary catheter. In this module, we will cover the following points, taking a neat and clean approach to begin with, detailed steps to prepare the material for the procedure, properly conducting the procedure, ensuring zero discomfort for the patient, sharing correct and step-by-step -step instructions with the patient, consolidating the procedure, maintaining hygiene and safety. This procedure is removal of catheter and again they don't want you to do the full ID check, they just want you to go and um, acknowledge that the patient is the right patient and that the procedure has been consented for. So I'm just going to go through those steps with you. Okay, so I would ensure the area is safe to approach and do the seven steps of hand hygiene again. and 30 seconds to dry. So um, I'll assume that I've introduced myself, that uh, I've got the patient's name and identity check has been correct, the allergy check and the comfort check's all been done and the patient's quite happy that the procedure um, with the catheter cup being removed, it's quite happy to go ahead with that. I would uh, screen the area for privacy and dignity and um, I would just let the patient know that I'm gonna go and collect my stuff to do the procedure and I'll be back in a few minutes if they needed to go to the toilet or anything but um, I won't be a couple of minutes so I'd leave the patient area and I would gel my hands again. I would don, um, I would don an apron I would assume this tray has been washed with soap and water in the past 24 hours. I'm just going to put some gloves on and clean it. And clean it. And I would get a 10 mil syringe for this. It's intact and it's in date till 2nd 24. And I would take two pairs of gloves with me. Two, three, four. Okay, so I'm just going to remove the gloves there, gel my hands and take the... Um, alcohol gel with me. I'm back now so if you're happy still to go ahead with the removal of the catheter um, we'll go ahead and I'll again make sure that the area is screened for privacy and dignity um, and I'm going to don some gloves first so I'm just going to minimally expose the patient and I can see that the urine bag is empty and I will undo the leg strap, put it between the patient's legs and I will um, just take some new gloves because I've touched that catheter now, gel my hands, open this syringe ready. So when this catheter is removed, you may feel a little bit of discomfort as it comes out. So I want you to take a deep breath. It shouldn't be painful. It's just more discomfort than anything. Okay. So I would access the port, which is the balloon port, which is this port. 
and put the 10 ml syringe onto it. And this catheter has 10 ml of water in it, it says on the notes. So I've taken 10 ml of water out and I'm just very slowly going to take the catheter out. So take a deep breath. And the catheter is out now. I'd put it straight all in the yellow bin. Move my gloves. Tell my hands, just cover the patient back up. So the catheter is out now and I'll give you the buzzer. Um, with the catheter being out, uh, we need you to just observe for when you next pass urine, which is really important that you tell us when you pass urine because um, sometimes people to go into something called urine retention, which just means that the bladder hasn't relaxed again. It's a temporary situation, but you do need to let us know if you're not able to pass urine. Uh, plenty, uh, drinking plenty of water is a good idea. So two to three litres of uh, fluids a day is a good idea. And again, gentle exercise is good. And if you do feel extreme pain, some discomfort is quite normal after having a catheter, but if you feel any extreme pain or if you have any unusual discharge, blood or any pain in the lower abdomen, or if you feel generally unwell, just let us know. Um, but otherwise it should be okay uh, that your catheter's been removed and you should pass urine quite normally. So um, I'll give you the buzzer. I'm going to go away and write this up in the nursing notes and I'll come back and check on you in an hour or so just to make sure you've been drinking and see if you've had actually been able to pass some urine. Uh, use the buzzer in the meantime if you need us, okay. So I'll take this uh, away, get rid of any rubbish. I will gel my hands, clean that tray, write in the nursing notes. Um, that I've removed the catheter in the time and that I've encouraged fluids, uh, etc. And that is the end of that procedure.